Hello my dear friends so welcome back welcome to your channel cooking astrology first of all i would like to thank all of you for subscribing my channel liking my videos and commenting on my videos guys thanks a lot for your love affection and support so today in this video let's try to understand planet mars placement in the sign of scorpio what will happen when planet mars comes in the contact of the sign of scorpio in your horoscope and what are the kind of results this placement is going to provide you i'm going to explain you in this video also i recommend you to watch this video please if you have mars placement in the sign of scorpio or not this video is going to be very very helpful for you first let's talk about planet mars in vedic astrology mars represents some kind of energy it is a true energy which is present inside you mars represents your physical energy as well as your mental energy the level of mental strength which is present inside you this thing is seen from planet mars Mars also represents your agility your ability to take firm and quick decisions in your life and then stick to that decision for a longer duration of time this thing is also governed under this planet Mars also represents your anger the level of anger which is present inside you even this planet represents mental frustration agitation it is a significator of your siblings the level of competitiveness which is present inside you it represents your sexual drive and all such kind of activities and on the other hand if i talk about the sign of scorpio which is originally ruled by planet mars it represents the destructive nature it is the very destructive sign the sign of scorpio represents some kind of a secretive side also the sign of scorpio it is originally the eighth house with deal with the lot of secret side occult mysticism astrology numerology and all such kind of a mystical experiences even the sign of scorpio it is a very high level of energy similar case is mars in the sign of aries and in the sign of scorpio whenever mars come in the sign of scorpio it represents two different forms of energy here the creation is also occurring at the same time and the similar time destruction is going to happen if you are having this placement first of all these individuals having some kind of a major sufferings that are connected with their own life and that is not your fault because here whole of your energy try to understand the, this thing your complete energy it is constrained in that box kind of a situation your whole energy is concentrated upon the darkest things and you understand whenever your energy is completely constrained in some kind of a dark object it purely represents some kind of a destruction destruction of your physical body destruction of your mental emotions destruction of the energy even with this kind of a planetary alignment mars in the sign of scorpio after creating lot of destruction in their life it is tend to give them the regeneration as well or some kind of a enlightenment is also seen with this placement because mars is the only planet which is the main reason behind your birth because there is some pending desires which is present in the previous birth you have not be able to fulfill that desires and in this birth you are born to fulfill that desires so that is the desires it is seen from the sign of aries and in the sign of scorpio it represents some kind of a destruction the destruction of the complete de desires even these individuals they strive towards achieving a perfection in any field put them into any field whether they have knowledge or having no knowledge regarding that field they try their 100% to achieve perfection in that areas of the life similar cases with their career environment with their relationship aspect with their marriage married life everything these individuals always strive towards achieving a perfection and if they don't acquire that level of a perfection in their life they tend to feel lot of mental frustration and then they punish themselves they torture themselves why i am not achieving that kind of a perfection or that level of because here the spirit of competitive is very high these individuals they have no barriers understand this thing no barriers their energy it is free free to go into any direction in whichever direction which they want to go the energy is completely following in the outward sense also the sign of scorpio it is a watery sign and mars it is a fiery element and the sign of scorpio it represents some kind of a still water or that kind of a water which is having lot of mud present inside lot of impurities lot of imperfection in that water 
and whenever that energy is getting dissolved into the sign of Scorpio, it creates some kind of a very secretive outlook towards life. These individuals, their complete life goes towards dealing with a lot of secretive events. Also, they have experienced such and such events in their life which is not explainable. I cannot explain that kind of events. But you can experience the level of energy inside you. Some kind of a very mystical experiences. Even enlightenment, you can experience the power of your Kundalini with these kind of placements. Because here these people, if they fail to control their sexual energies and their sex drive as well, they are going to destroy their, their own complete life. Because here the rebirth and the, and the destruction is occurring at the same time. Similar cases with their relationship aspect as well. Because here the, from the sign of Libra, Mars is going two places away. It represents some kind of a gains of relationship. But the gain of relationship that is seen in the secretive side. Maybe they are having a one on one affair with some other some person and then they are also having some kind of affair with the second individual. So that gain from both the sides, that, that thing is also connected with this kind of a Mars placement. Also initially in their childhood days, if they don't receive that kind of a love and support from their parents especially, then their children, they, they are having some kind of a mental abnormalities as well. Because here, like, they have the mental agitation and frustration, it is going to rise slowly, slowly, slowly. And with the passage of time, they tend to become that anger house. Like, if you slowly just pinch them, they will, eager, they, they will let, like, trigger very easily. You know, just like the balloon. Balloon is full of air, just make some little pin and the balloon is getting blasted over there. So that is the kind of anger which they are having present inside them. And it is very difficult for them to control anger. If they suppose get angry, they will shout, shout at you and they will start pulling things and such kind of, it is a complete destruction. Also here the only remedy if you are having this kind of a placement and you are dealing with all such kind of is issues, please try to worship Lord Shiva in the form of Natraj because Natraj represents that cosmic bond of the energy in which destruction and creation both things are occurring at the simultaneously time because you are having some kind of a mystical abilities which are present inside you but you will not be able to recognize this thing without the help of the spiritual path if you are taking the path of a materialism with this kind of a placement you are going to get into some kind of a wrong direction especially in the sign of Scorpio, try to concentrate your energy, your power, your whole sexual energy, try to utilize that energy in some other positive way. And the only form I'm telling you, try to worship Lord Natraj. That is the real cosmic, that, that Natraj represents that cosmic dance of the energies. That is the purest form of the energy you will find. And then the imperfections, you will, you will lose that kind of imperfections from your life and you strive towards achieving the perfection. Also, second thing, if you want, want to worship, if you are especially female then, you can worship Goddess Kali in the form of it is a feminine form of energy. Mars in the sign of Scorpio, it represents that high level of energy which have no control over anything. It is just going to destroy the complete world. It, it is that high level of energy. So try to worship Goddess Kali as well. If you are especially female, then that thing is going to be very, very helpful for you. Apart from this, if Mars, this Mars is posited in the 7th house and 8th house especially, the marriage life is, it is going to be a very, very critical part. Until and unless, if Jupiter is respecting this planet Mars, then some kind of a positiveness it is seen with this placement. Otherwise, it is going to be a very destructive form of energy. Also, if this Mars is posited in your Kender houses, 1, 4, 7th and 10th house, your maximum portion of energy or the maximum areas or the maximum time of your day-to-day -day life, it is going towards that areas of your life. Because here it is that kind of energy which is attracting you towards itself. The sign of Aries represents your physical body and whenever it is going 8 places away, it shows ups and downs in your life lot of ups and downs related to the sign of Aries. Look at the 
look at it in your bar chart in whichever house the sign of aries is posited that house it is going to be the major disturbing house in your life and you tend to face lot of ups and downs related to that areas suppose sign of aries posited in your maybe in the 10th house of the career so the career is going to be a major ups and downs even if in the sign of 11th house of incoming gains then the money and monetary gains that is going to be lot of fluctuation over there lot of movement of energy and the circulation is seen from this kind of a placements so try to utilize this energy in a positive way rather than going towards the materialistic side or having obsession towards acquiring name fame and recognition try to take the path of spirituality do meditation and yoga practices for at least 15 to 20 minutes on daily basis then you can restore this energy and utilize this energy in the positive way and the also the remedy is connected with your fifth house of creation as well look at the fifth house what are the planets that are posited in the fifth house what are the signs that control your fifth house try to work towards that areas of your life that thing is going to give you that mental satisfaction and happiness because with this placement it is not in your hand to control the energy i'm telling you it is not in your hand the energy is going to flow in any of the directions maybe if it is going in the negative direction then it will go to the extreme negative also if you become if if any time in your life if you if your mental faculties if you tend to lose in some kind of a negative situation you are going to get very very negative in that areas of the life it become very difficult to you to get positive then and if you get positive in your life then it become very difficult for you to get to the negative side as well so that proper balance of energy is somewhat absent in this sign and the only way to maintain that proper balance is to either worship lord shiva or natraj or either worship goddess kali this is the true way in which you can restore this energy and utilize into some positive way especially look at the fifth house whichever house or whichever planet that is controlling your fifth house or sitting in the fifth house work towards that areas of your life and especially with this placement at least you have to have 15 to 16 hours of a work on daily basis in order to feel mental satisfaction because if you don't have work for the 15 and 16 hours then you utilize this energy in the some negative way so at least have some kind of a chief objective and aim in your life and work towards that thing ruthlessly then you will attain the mental peace and clarity in your life so that's it guys from my side in this video i hope you like the analysis if you have any queries regarding your mars placement please contact me at my mail id i will respond you back within 48 hours after receiving your email so till then if you haven't subscribed my channel yet subscribe it below and make sure to follow me on instagram and facebook as well i post lot of new stuff related to vedic astrology on these two platforms as well So till then please take care of yourself I will meet you very very soon in the next video bye bye and take care